Damn, these Dead Matter developers have been dropping updates like crazy. So this is a pretty big update, but unfortunately there isn't any update as to when the closed alpha is going to be. But they still have a lot of stuff to show off, so let's go ahead and get into it. It says here that a guy named Kyle has been working on polish passes for the infected navigation and pathfinding, player construction snapping improvements. He has also worked with Dave, their sound designer, to get new car crash sound effects set up in game. Cool, cool, cool. And we can actually listen to the sound effects here. Let's go ahead and take a listen. So he hops in his car here. And he proceeds to drive to the right side over what looks like a ramp. He's about to do the daredevil jump. Ooh, uh. And the car's gone. All right, well, that was interesting. Let's move on. It says here, Gunschlinger has been polishing the grenade thrown item system, improved the Molotov cocktail fire spread, helped with adding in some new weapons, and continued optimizing the infected. Cool. Players can select their desired thrown weapon from the radio menu, then press the grenade thrown item hotkey to continue throwing that weapon type, as long as they remain in their inventories. Cool. So you have to, like, equip them in, like, a pocket or something in order to throw them? It's an interesting mechanic. Kind of like Escape from Tarkov. And then we have a GIF at the bottom here it shows them throwing like multiple grenades and they look like world war ii grenades if i'm not mistaken this is the mk2 grenade or that's what it looks like to me i wonder if they're gonna have variations of grenades because that'd be kind of cool and then he switches to just a throwable item so i'm assuming that you can use this to lure zombies to like a different location by throwing glass you know because noise is everything in this game that's interesting i'm trying to look at the radio menu here it looks like there's a flare and something else i can't tell what that is maybe it's a molotov maybe we'll find out when we move on here Let's move on. The fire that spreads from the Molotovs has been improved. Players will find that Molotovs will be incredibly dangerous to infected other players and themselves. And you see this guy just throwing a bunch of Molotovs on the floor. And yeah, that fire is spreading. It's actually covering up quite a bit of area there. I wonder how long it stays on the floor like that for. And yeah, I think that uh, thing that we saw on the radio menu right there was this right there. Because it kind of looks like it has that shape. Although that doesn't look like a Molotov though. That looks like um like a, like a whiskey bottle or something, which is interesting. But anyways, let's move move on this next one here says and while the fire spreads far in the open it also properly occluded when thrown indoors no phantom splashes of fire spilling through walls okay cool so if you were to throw this in like an alleyway i'm assuming it would only stay in the alleyway and not on the insides i mean if like there was two brick walls i, I could see that definitely making sense and not going through them but if it was two wooden walls then i feel like the wood should catch on fire but i don't know how far they want to go in depth with like um you know breaking stuff but anyways let's move on well placed molotovs will have great effect on any targets unfortunate enough to be grouped up. Fortunately for players, the infected aren't known for their advanced tactics. And you got that right. Look at how stupid they are standing there. What a bunch of brain dead morons. Do you think a zombie actually like feels because like would they be yelling and screaming when they're on fire i've always i've always wondered that like would they be flailing around or would they just be kind of like just like standing there and taking it because i mean they wouldn't be able to feel that right but i don't know but anyways riz has gotten a fan favorite weapon modeled textured and ready to go meet the katana oh my god i'm having freaking suicide squad flashbacks a much requested melee weapon for the well-studied blade user players will be able to find manufactured katanas around the world and will also be able to scrounge together the right materials to make their own, provided they have the necessary tools. Player-made katanas will have a rougher look to them that shows they've been put together using whatever materials and parts players have found in the world. So that's kind of cool. I wonder if the katana is going to be able to actually slice things in half. I mean, because a real katana would, you know, just lop a head right off, well, most likely anyway. So yeah, that is the real katana. And here's the player-made one, I assume. The player-made ones don't really look like katanas, though. They look like um very serrated. Not like a katana at all. But I mean, I guess it's kind of like the point right it's not supposed to actually be a katana because it's makeshift it's a poor man's katana but anyways let's move on there are some tactical options is there like a difference, I wonder? Or is it just cosmetic? And the manufactured katanas could come in a variety of colors. Neat. This is like some Power Ranger stuff. Maybe I'm old fashioned, but I think I'd just go with the black one. But anyways, Hax has been working on getting the improved Eater pistol set in the game, smashing animation bugs, and getting more soundscapes set up throughout the game world. And then it shows a picture of the... I'm pretty sure this is a Glock, but they're calling it an Eater 17. Yeah, I just looked it up, and there's no such thing as an Eater, I don't think. There's an Eater in FIFA 17, apparently. 
Iron. Maybe that's who they're referring to? I don't know. But anyways, speaking of the eater, Stefan has finished the texture work on the model we highlighted in the last week updates. I'm not really sure what he added here. I'd have to go back and compare the other videos, but I'm too lazy to do that, so I guess we're just gonna have to move on. Very nice looking weapon though, I gotta say. Pretty sure this is Glock, but tell me if I'm wrong. Oh boy, look at that nightmare inducing thing. It says here, Doc Tooth has been working on polishing the player and infected face models, as well as face morphing for NPCs so they can show a little emotion during the apocalypse. Well, that's creepy. All right, that's uh, yeah. Moving on. Nomad has added barricades, reinforcements, and utility items that players will be able to construct within their claim plots to better protect and utilize their bases. Neat. Players will be able to use barrels for water collection, add storage to their bases, and construct ramps on their fortifications to gain the high ground on their attackers. Cool. They will also be able to add a lockable door to the walls for extra security and ease of passage into their bases. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I see the ramp here. It's used for like walking up and looking over the fence. Okay. And I see the door on the left. It's all wood. That's the wall. And now I'm looking at the right and I'm seeing what that could actually turn into. So that's kind of cool. You can fortify both sides, it looks like. So do you put like two sides of wood? I I'd really like to see the process of actually trying to put all that together because I would like to really like fortify my walls. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of those people that likes to put like a shit ton of fortifications. And yeah, it'd take that time. But anyways, let's move on. It says here that uh, Nomad has also been barricading solutions for interior and exterior player bases. Players will be able to add simple chain, a wooden bar, and up to a sturdy metal security bar to better secure their doors. Okay, so this is for like when you claim a house. That's pretty cool. I'm assuming this is supposed to be on the inside, right? I mean, why would they put it on the outside? That chain right there reminds me a lot of uh, Fallout 4 for some reason. Around the map, you'd find like chained up doors like that. It's actually a pretty cool idea, but I'd have to wonder how you'd be able to like break into this. They'd have to put like some sort of bomb just to blow out the whole door, right? I'm curious. Because I know there's going to be a whole lot of base rating like there has to be or maybe there doesn't i don't know i'm not really sure if they actually talked about base rating already or if that's actually been discussed i'm really curious to know how they'd go about that because i'm sure that a lot of people are in it for the pvp i've seen a lot of comments in my comment section basically saying how this game is going to basically be player friendly only as in the best way to play this game is by making friends but that's not actually true you're playing against other players it's just that there's consequences if you decide to go against them when you're loud so i think the best way to take on a player is just either go melee or find yourself a silenced weapon or a suppressed weapon if you know what i'm saying so yeah curious to know how they handle pvp because there's a big crowd that's only in it for that but anyways let's move on for the exterior nomad has added sturdy metal bars that can be added to windows for that extra layer of security to keep the infected or players from easily smashing in windows you know i actually had a lot of questions in one of the previous updates and it seems like they answered a lot of them in this it's as if they watched my video and took all of them and just made it into a big update update so that's pretty cool i really got a lot of questions answered here pretty neat and that's pretty much it so i imagine that they're going to be dropping this update pretty soon here i mean they're they've been dropping updates like crazy throughout these weeks they even say here at the beginning while we can't say much about the roadblock itself we can say that significant progress has been made over the last week and that we're getting there unfortunately this is not the update that i get to tell you all that were there just yet man that is so unfortunate because a lot of people including myself for actually quite anticipating this game. I mean, at this point, I feel like something's got to give, right? I mean, how long can they hold off people? Because a lot of people want to play, right? I mean, for me, so long as they keep giving out updates, then I'm fine with it. But I wonder how long they can actually keep this up before people start to complain. I mean, this update was pretty big and I definitely enjoyed it, but something's got to give. That's why I feel like this update is going to be coming out pretty soon here. But uh, yeah, so I thought that this update was pretty good. It actually answered quite a bit of questions that I had in the previous video. It's as if they took all my questions and turned it into an update. It was pretty cool. Cool. But yeah, so what are your thoughts on this update? Are you someone that's excited for the closed alpha? Are you someone that's very skeptical of it? Let me know down below, because I'm gonna end it right here. If you enjoy the fact that I cover games like Dead Matter, be sure to comment, like, and share the video. It really helps the channel. Viewership has been down lately, and uh, I could seriously use some help. And uh, yeah, if you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. Stick around, maybe you'll find something that you like. If you would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.